Welcome in the video. You guys don't know that that was an inside joke between myself and, and myself. Back when I lived in Charlotte, North Carolina, I used to go to a flea market and there was an old Jamaican guy who ran it and he would have this big PA system and he would always yell, Welcome in the market! Good day for market! So anyways, yeah, that's that. Resale rabbit here. Not to be not to be confused with the Energizer bunny. That's a different rabbit. He makes me look bad because he doesn't take breaks. He just keeps going and going and going and going and going and I'm going in the wrong, I made a wrong turn. I was supposed to go that way. All right, let's flip around. So it is Friday, September, hold on, hold on, 25th. Three months, exactly, until Christmas. Are you excited? My tree's going up next week. Um, so I am buying out Gordman's next Sunday, so day after tomorrow. I am... A little nervous about this one but i'm going there to take a look at it right now i'm getting regular updates from the liquidation company as far as stock levels my last update uh well last week they told me there was about seventy-three thousand items in the store they wanted me to take three stores and this one is the lightest the other two are much heavier um and i just don't have the manpower of that many items but they did have a big sell through i think he said they were around forty thousand yesterday I want to say it was yesterday so that's still a lot of stuff we've got 48 hours left till close it'll be about this time tomorrow that i come in and shut down the store uh we're at i want to say three percent is my cost but normally i don't go look at the store in advance what i'm doing right now is partially looking at what's there in stock oh, excuse me stock levels and whatnot um, but I'm also going because the liquidator sent me a text this morning and said they dropped to, in his words, an unheard of 90% off for fixtures. I think they uh, were, are struggling to find a buyer on fixtures. So I'm going to go look, see if there's anything that I could use because 90% off is, they're going to be cheap. So let's go take a look. I've never been to Gordman's before. Uh, from my understanding, they're kind of like a TJ Maxx, an off-price retailer. Uh, I'm not 100% on that. That's just what I'm pretty sure they are. Anyways, uh, so as I circle and try to find it, I am going to vent about something. My landlord put some political signs up in front of the building. His office is in the building too, by the way. That annoys me. I'm not going to say which candidate. It's for one of the presidential candidates. I'm not going to say which one it is. Um, but really annoys me because I have a rule. No politics. I do not mix politics with business because it doesn't matter which side you're in support of. You put that sign up, you're going to upset about half of your customers. Our nation is pretty much split evenly, it seems. So you're going to upset about half of your customers and potentially because people are stupid on both sides. They will choose not to go shop at a store or eat out at a restaurant because the owner is in support of the candidate that they are not which is really dumb, really dumb. But anyways, you're gonna lose a bunch of customers because of that, and uh, you're not gonna gain a whole lot. I, I firmly believe, there's Gordman's, I firmly believe that uh, you do not mix politics with business. And the placement of the sign is kind of near where my, where my driveway is, so I don't want people thinking that I'm in support of this candidate. Now this particular candidate, uh, I don't have an opinion or at least I'm not going to give my opinion, but it doesn't matter if I'm in support of the candidate or against the candidate. There's no reason to to publicly show that with the business. All right, so we are here at Gordman's. Let's see what it looks like inside. Got my mask on. The Ron Swanson mask, there he is. Let's go. This store was supposed to close in May, but the state shut down. It's now the end of September and they're still open. Now this is something. Hmm. 15 bucks for these is 90% off. I wonder. Oh, yeah, I'm taking these. I'm taking every last one. 
These are really expensive and I've been wanting some of these for a while. Oh, that's, oh, that's sold. I was say, that can come in handy. I don't know what we got here. Oh, they're the tags. 20 bucks for the bin full. I might just buy them just for the bin. So I bought the dump bins. There were eight of them. It cost me about a hundred bucks. They're normally like $400 each. So I was very happy about that. It was a hundred for all eight, by the way. Oh, they have display cases in there. They're $10 each. They're carts. They've got hundreds for four bucks each. I always regret buying fixtures though. I can't. I bought the bins because I have a specific need for them, but the other ones I don't need, but I, just, I want them. They're cheap. I hate that part of the business. Um, really tempting on the carts though, but I don't know. Boy, is that a tough one. All right, it is Sunday. It is, hold on, I gotta look cool, hold on. It is Sunday, it's 11.50. I have to be on site at noon. We begin at one o'clock. I've got one tip for you multiple copies of your tax paperwork. I've got a seller's permit. Um, we're usually running multiple registers at a time. Everything does need to go through the register. So, um, you know, have multiple copies so you can leave one on each register so the process goes by quicker. So I've got that uh, tape measure box cutter just in case. In this particular case, I bought a bunch of Gaylords that the store was using. We're gonna use those, I just left them there. So we're going to use those today, but normally I would bring boxes to haul everything. I've got these boxes, which I usually use. They really come in handy. I use them at every store except for Office Depot because I don't want them to think that I'm stealing them. Um, so every other store, we use those. So I think that's about it. Got it all loaded up. Another tip, bring cash and multiple cards. The last thing you want is for your cards to start declining because... There are a whole bunch of transactions and they think it's fraud. So then you're SOL. In fact, this particular store, I've never worked with this liquidation company before. So they don't even want to close. They're not going to close the store for me. I've never had this happen where they're refusing to close the store. They've always uh, closed the store when we show up. So we're going to be dealing with customers in there at the same time. I don't know how they're going to do it because it's going to take us 15, 20 minutes to get everything up to the front. And then there's not gonna be anything else for customers to shop. So I don't know what their plan is, but um, that's pretty much it. Fixtures are 90% off. Their shopping carts are now four bucks each. I'm very tempted to get them all. I don't know, we'll see. I have a love-hate relationship with shopping carts. They're such a tough sale, but they usually do well. Anyways, although four bucks each, I don't need to sell them for much, so I don't know. So let's get going. So that's literally all that's left. I was told they were not gonna do buy more, save more. Buy more, save more is when they have, uh, you get an extra 50% off if you buy a certain amount of items. They're still doing it to the very end. They cleared out too much. So I have a word with the liquidator, not thrilled about that, but I guess that's what we get. Not much we can do about it. So the store is pretty cleared out. Here's the thing, now they're saying we have to wait till one. The manager says, at one o'clock, she needs to call the liquidator and find out if they're okay to sell to me. I am not thrilled with how they're handling this one. Um, I do find it amusing. They still have a now hiring sign on the building. This happens sometimes where you have, or it's just run very poorly. Sometimes they care about the end buyers because as an end buyer, we provide valuable service. We get all the stuff out that they can't sell at the end. Um, so sometimes they care about us. Sometimes they don't care about us at all. So obviously their ultimate goal is to bring in as much money as they can from the liquidation of the store, but you upset your end buyer bad enough, you're not gonna have an end buyer anymore. So uh, not thrilled about that. If, if I was upset enough, I'd just walk out and then they would be screwed. They would not, they cannot close this store until all of the inventory is gone. It would cost them a lot of money but I guarantee you this company would never contact me again. So it's kind of a, the politics are kind of a pain. Oh, I sent him a text. I said, so I see they're still running buy more, save more. I didn't, I thought you said they weren't gonna be doing that. And he said, oh, your discount's still cheaper. 
Dress Barn, and I think this might be the same liquidator, the same guy from Dress Barn. I know I've worked with him before, I don't remember where. Remember we got screwed on Dress Barn where they did uh, my discount to the public the day of the sale? Never told me about it. Not thrilled. I can't, I'm gonna start keeping notes on all of the liquidators I work with. That way when I get a call from one, I know what stores I worked with them on. I know, you know what my experience was and everything. So that'll make it a little easier. So I've been here an hour, we're still waiting. It sounds like we're gonna be able to start now at one. Uh, we're waiting on confirmation. Real pain in the butt. But on top of that, I found out, remember I said they wanted to keep the store open for some reason. What they wanna do is just start bringing up the slower, the crappier stuff first while people can still shop from the other stuff. I'm really not thrilled with this guy right now. A nice shelving unit, oh, it's already sold. Not thrilled at all with how they're doing this. And it's not Gordman's, it's you know, the liquidation company. Really not thrilled with them right now because I'm working on a Sunday. I've got employees here working overtime on a Sunday. Really not thrilled. So we filled three, two racks so far. All right, back at the warehouse. So a couple of things. Um, one of the managers there was actually my boss. When I, my first job was at Kmart and he was the store manager there. So that was kind of funny. He fired me. I was like 16 and didn't want to work. So, uh, he didn't remember me though. Um, also, I was supposed to get a bunch of mother, motherhood maternity stores. I got the first wave in either December or January. There's supposed to be another wave in March, but the state shut down due to COVID. So I didn't get the, those. Um, I wasn't sure whatever happened to the inventory. The stores didn't do a liquidation or anything. Well, it went to Gordman's. Uh, so there was a, a lot there, uh, which is awesome because... There was a ton of motherhood maternity pants. We're selling those for 20 to 30 bucks on eBay and they sell really well. So I'm really excited about that. There was probably, I don't know, 200 pairs of motherhood maternity pants, which is should be about $2,000 or so after shipping and fees and everything. Uh, but anyways, I got, I spent $469.72. Total retail is $18,788.80. It wasn't a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna do amazing on it. I figure maybe I'll do probably about 2,000-ish on the, the pants on eBay. The rest of it will run through the warehouse sale, maybe bring in another 1,000. It's not much. Um, I did have payroll. I trained an employee on how to close out a store there, so it was me and him. Normally, I'd just be one person at a store like that. Had I known they were gonna be that empty, I would have uh, taken the other two stores they wanted me to take. I'd. It's because of how they ran the liquidation. Not thrilled at all about that, but oh well. Now that doesn't include fixtures. I spent another 110 to get those big black uh, Gaylords, the big plastic ones. They're like 400 bucks new. I spent 110 to get eight of those. I also spent an extra 150. I got three clothes racks, which I usually just throw them up on Facebook Marketplace for like 10 bucks each just to get rid of them. The reason I keep them or buy them is because we keep the clothes on the racks in the store, wheel the rack right on the trailer. That way it's all in hangers, stuff doesn't get tangled up. And then when we have a warehouse sale, we transfer it to our clothes racks. Nice and easy. They were five bucks each. So for 15 bucks, it saved me probably two hours worth of work. Um, well worth it. So I got those. I got 10 shopping carts, and I'm pretty sure these are the exact same ones as the Shopco ones that we use during the warehouse sales. So I got 10 shopping carts, which we'll be using during our warehouse sales. And because we were pretty low on shopping carts, I think I've got 15 of them. So they work out perfect because we allow 25 people in the building when we have the sales. Uh, what else did I get? I got some of their, um, their tech, the little scanners with the screens on them so they can look up the inventory in their system. I got five of those and five Zebra thermal printers, the ones, the portable ones they used to print their receipts. Uh, I should be able to get, I think it was a hundred bucks each for the scanners and then 50 each for the printers. So that would be 500 for the scanners and 250 for the printers. So another 750 bucks there. So I spent 150 for all of the fixtures except the Gaylords. The Gaylords were an extra 110. 
and that's it. So I'll probably make about three grand on the merchandise, or I should say, I will bring in. Uh, I'm not going to make that because I've got 469 spent on product, and then another uh, three hours at time and a half for Tim. So probably a couple hundred bucks there. Well, let me pull out the calculator. Times 1.5 times I'd say probably about three hours. So another 76 bucks paid to Tim. So all in, I've got about 450 bucks plus my own time invested. I will make about three, bring in about three grand after shipping fees and everything on the merchandise that includes in the warehouse sale. Um, and then what I say, 750 on the fixtures and then I'll have a bunch of free fixtures. So all once all is said and done, I'm probably walking away with 3,000, 3,200, somewhere in that general area on it all. So I suppose a few hours of work, not so bad. I do need to go back Tuesday. They need to wipe all their info off of the, the, the PDA scanner things. So I'm picking those up on Tuesday, and then we'll be done with Gorbins. And I'm not going to show you because everything's loaded up in the trailer, but I'm sure you'll see it on a future video. I got a giant G, their logo, to put with my Dead Stores collection of stores that I've bought out. So anyways, it is Sunday. I'm going to go home and watch some football. And uh, that's about all I got. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.